Don't be afraid of the dark. Zero ones. Pragmatic Prophet here, with a heads up about e-crowding and e-hate clubs. Let's check into whether handheld apps like EZVIZ, EZVIZ, that host the capability to view our home surveillance camera videos while away from home can be hacked by e-hate groups. If by chance there is some grain of truth in this, it would mean that e-hate clubbers would know in an instant the blind spots around our home that are not taped by our home surveillance camera videos. E-hate clubbers would also know when we are away from home, and when the lights are off and we are likely sleeping. E-crowders might also be tempted to get in the action by rehearsing and performing criminal stunts or lewd or lusty acts, or by making, dis you, gestures outside the homes of folks whose surveillance camera tapes have been co-opted by social media e-hate clubbers. Prague Prof is the first to admit this is just a what if, but, what a what if it is, isn't it? Also let's check whether well-meaning church videos of Sunday services, if they show members of the congregation online, might be used by e-hate groups to the same ends. The e-hate groups that have been forming, probably worldwide, around social media e-hate unfan clubs, through live webcams aimed by whole neighborhoods at unsuspecting targets, and through digital sharing of handheld photos and videos of picked upon or bully targets, are causing intense suffering to those so e-crowded. Suicide of the e-crowded person can occur. Murder of the bullied scapegoat by the e-hate group can occur through one member of the social media fan club suggesting that the many fans murder the targeted person. This may account in part for the home invasions, drive-by shootings, and acts of atrocity by strangers against people simply walking down the street that are being reported in the news now. As a stopgap measure, I am hoping the FBI and Homeland Security can get to the root of this issue. Maybe it will be under their auspice as domestic hate groups or domestic terrorism? In the long term, public education as to what is going on and how to distance ourselves from e-crowding and e-hate groups may be the key. God bless you all and keep you safe. And be with you through all your days. In love, light and joy. Alice B. Claggett. I am of the stars. Don't be afraid of the dark Don't be afraid of the dark